Okay, Tips, so how's she going today? So, I gotta do something here quick. And, well, I tried last night, and I'm ruining it. And I'm not too damn happy about it. And I just got them spending, uh, spending 40 bucks on it. And I got the heater running again, so it's gonna take a while for that to kick out heat, but. Come on, son of a bitch. Alright. That's just so we get a break from the cold. So we're back on this again. On this cocksucker. But I can't get it out the fucking thing. It's like ruining it. I tried to take one of the... Uh, I tried taking the big wrench to it. All it does is... is causes it... Is, uh, to strip and it's ruining the thing where you can put a thing on it to, even, to loosen it. So I'm going to take this end off and I think I could slip this through it because I can't get it on there with that on. And try to get this up over there, I guess, and try to see if I can work that damn thing off. There's a couple of reasons why I want to do it. One is, well, I had to take it off anyway because I got to put. This coupler, well, when I get the, net, the other new one, it's got to go down there. But another thing I want to do too is I'm going to take this hose off for the winter and stick it in the basement and I'm going to stretch it out because it's just kinking and I'm having a hell of a time with it. Because all it wants to fucking do is kink and I'm sick of it. So I'm just going to stick this in the vise and, and this hose was, was new, it's not new anymore now. It's all scraped and all dirty. Well, that's all right, but just enough to hold it. Okay, shove that out of the way. Ah, oh, it's too big. I'm not too damn happy about that. I get that, that, that I have to do this, but what else do I, can I do? The wrench is slip, and I tried to loosen it here, but uh, it's just not working. I'm getting sick and tired of working on stuff. A lot of you guys are going to say, well, you should have just had put that coupler on there in the first place and then just had bought the other one for this. Well, I could have done that too, but I didn't think of it. And I didn't really plan on putting a hose or a coupler at the other end. But I'm going to do that now, so I'm going to see if I can Take this off and slip that hose out. I don't know if that'll even work either. I'll find out, but. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but everything is so damn tight. I know that there's moisture inside that. I gotta check that tank again, too. And put my glove on. See if I can slip this through. I hope I can, because that's the only thing I got. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're fine. This is the only thing I can do, guys, to try to get that son of a bitch off. Now, I gotta get the holes off, because I gotta be able to put the couplers on the other end. Gonna... This is what I get. This is this is what I gotta do with all the times. So it's fucking kinking, and it, it, sometimes it gets really bad. So... Like I'm really getting getting sick of sick of it, you know. Like things never just want to go my way. It's always got to go. Oh shit! Get off the heater. Things always have to have to go wrong, you know. Oh come on! Let me stop there now, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. that when I take this hose off or like when I take this thing for transport anywhere you know then the hose falls off and then you gotta deal with the mess so so 
I'm just gonna make it all quick catch when I get the, the other couplers, and then I'll just take the holes off, I guess, when I have to. See, this is what I gotta deal with all the time. See? And I'm sick of it, so I'm just gonna take this holes off, put those couplers on when, they, when I get them, and then this hose is gonna stay down in the basement, and I'm gonna uh, stretch it out and let it sit like that over the winter. Maybe it'll get over its fucking curliness. That's what it wants to fucking do is curl so damn bad. There's another damn knot. Like, are you kidding me? This one's really freaked up there. This is the only thing I have here that will help to get that off because this thing is made to go kind of do that kind of stuff. But not the right kind of tool, but it'll do for what I got. See, look at that curl that's in that hose. I can feel the resistance on it, like it's stretching itself back to that circle, that damn thing again, you know, no, I'm just sick of that. So. I just have to ruin this hole, I guess, and then just buy another one, I guess. What else? What other freaking choice do I have, you know? Stupid holes. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Well, I was wrong that it also didn't have much now that it's useless now. Son of a bitch. No, well, well, she's ruined, boys. She's ruined. I'm gonna pay her to put in a couple of, I guess, on that end then. Fantastic. Should have did that in the fucking first place. But what can you do? Nothing. No, nothing wants to grip it. I don't know what else to try because. I don't have nothing else to grip it. It's just too damn rounded off now. I might just have to ruin this holes, I guess, and get it off, and then buy another one, I guess, and slip that one on. I don't have nothing else to grip it, and this is the only thing that was good enough to try, and that failed too. Shit, did that in the first place. Now I gotta fuck around with this cock-sucking thing again. Get it off. And it might be to the point where it, it's so ruined that I can't use it anymore. I just have to buy me another one, I guess. Whatever. Won't be this month, then. Come on. I could leave it on there and just put it all downstairs, you know, and stretch the hose out, but... I gotta be able to take this damn hose off, too. 
But this thing wouldn't grip it either, and I have nothing else that will grip it, so. So I don't know what else to do, boys. We just have to either let it go or I guess just uh Just, uh, you know, I guess I'll leave it. The only thing else I can try is a pair of pliers, but I tried that on the other pair and didn't do all the best. This, this is the this is the new one. Maybe that would do a little better. I don't know what else to try. I might have to just completely destroy it. That's the only way I'm going to have to be able to get it off. Be a waste because this is a brand new hose. This can't be helped, I guess, so. The thing is, you just have no way of gripping it because the damn handle's not fucking away. I can't grip it that way either. I don't know, boys. It's getting off the thin now. Sick and tired of working on stuff, and nothing else ever works. You know, nothing ever works. I got nothing else in there. All I can think of is the wrench, but it's it's hard to grip it. You can't grip it anymore. The damn handle's in the fucking way. That wants that to come off. All I want to do is just keep on slipping. I don't know, let's try that fucking thing again. I don't know what else to do then. This is this is getting to be getting to be sickening, you know. I can, the thing where you know you hook it up to the hose or to the air compressor, it's all starting to strip. I might just have to buy another one, I guess, when I, uh, I guess, get it off. Because how, how are you going to be able to put the damn thing on? You know, pretty sickening. Just want things to go my way for once, but they never fucking do. I get to see another bullshit video again. Well, things never go my way, you know. I'm getting a little sick of it. So, well, things will fucking go right for once and work, you know. I don't have to put up with it. I'm of those damn kinking all the time. Fucking turn or not. No, I don't think it's turning either. No, it's not fucking turning. Bitch. 
edge. Well, I can only... Well, that turns there then, so that's useless. Well, I guess I don't need the heat on because I'm getting a good workout over here, so I'm just going to turn this bad boy off. Okay, well, I think I'm getting it. It looks like it's, uh, looks like it's slowly coming out. So I think what I'll do is I'll stop the camera and then... I guess keep fucking around with it and see if I can get it off. I might just put uh, like this coupler on that end and then, so I don't have to deal with it then. Well, it actually kind of be the opposite. This would still be on the hose. I think this end or the or one of those uh, quick hatch couplers would have to go into the air compressor and then you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, let me let me go get started and then I'll uh, fire this camera back up. See you guys in a minute. Well, guys, I don't know. Um, it just seems to be like you would think turning it that way would be loosening it. And it's not. And I'm, I've completely rounded this off now. So, th this hose is never going to come off now. See, there's all the all the glitter shit off it now. So the only other way I could ever get this hose off is just by, I guess, by destroying it and actually cutting the hose off and then somehow or something, I don't know what else to fucking do. I don't know what else to do, guys. It's not coming off. I can leave it, but I kind of wanted the quick catch on this side, you know. And this damn thing won't grip worth a shit. So, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't remember ever putting it on that fucking tight, so I don't know why the hell it's on there so damn tight for. I never put it on that fucking tight. I even took the screwdriver there to see if I could put in a little bit of knob marks in it. Thinking maybe maybe it would, it would uh, maybe grip a little easier. Uh, it doesn't work either. So, destroyed a perfectly good hose. Now I have to rip this one out and buy another one now. Well, if I can ever get the fucking thing out. Son of a bitch. So, I don't know what else to do. If soaking getting WD 40 isn't going to help because I don't fucking have any. So, that's the only last thing I can try to do is just put some WD 40 on it and maybe it would soften it up. I don't know what else to do then. But this might rent, but whatever. You know, I don't know what else to do, guys. If I can even get anything out of it. Probably not. Well, there's so much more in there, but yet it won't fucking come out. Damn it, anyways. So, I don't know what else to do, guys. You guys will probably suggest something. Well, I can't afford big tools to take these damn things off, you know. I thought I could rip this fucking thing off, but I guess not. So, 
so. Whatever. I guess I'll just have to keep gnawing at it, I guess, throughout the winter, and I guess, and hope that, uh, that it, that it comes off. Because I don't know what else to, uh, what else to do then. So, because I, I didn't put it on that bloody fucking tight in the first place, and I don't know why the hell it's not coming off. So, and, you know, like I said, you put a wrench on it, well, all it does is fucking slip, so. And that damn thing down there won't even grip. You can hear it squealing, but that's because it's, it's slipping too, so. So, I don't know. There's one more thing I guess I can try, but I doubt it'll work. I've seen it done before. Yeah, use a goddamn bloody rag, but I don't think that'll work for this, but. I kind of doubt it, but you know, we'll try it anyway. Give me one second. I'm going to try this and I can see if I can get it off. One second. Well, it doesn't want to come off, so... Those stupid bastards are back to doing whatever they do. So... I guess the only thing I can do, I guess, is just leave it. It's completely gnawing it down. It's not even like it should be anymore. And I went and grabbed the permanent marker just to mark it to see if it was even fucking turning. And it's not turning at all. Because it's hard to mark this, but managed to get a little bit on there. Like this whole thing here is where you're supposed to put the wrench. Well, it's not there anymore. It's just a damn piece of circle steel now. So nothing wants to grip it. So I don't know what I'm going to do when this uh, when this hose blows out. Because then I'm, not, I'm never going to be able to replace it now. It seems like whenever I want to do stuff, then it, you know, then it always gets ruined. So, should have put the couplers on, I guess, on that end in the first place. But, you know, I didn't think of it, so. It should ruin now, boys. $30 hose. Ruined. Still usable, but it's ruined. So, the only thing. The only option now would be to just completely destroy the damn thing. Like, gnaw it out, break it in half, cut it out. Try to punch it out with a screwdriver. Because I don't know what else to do. I don't think they make any tools that are designed to... Why don't they make certain tools? But... So I don't know what else to do. The only option I can I could do would be to... I think they make a tool for it too, but I can't remember if they do. Um, would be to take a screwdriver and I guess uh, pound into it, I guess, and then well, that'd probably destroy it, but whatever. And then well, yeah, put a screwdriver in it and pound it and. I guess try to maybe put some kind of a notch into it. You know, maybe like a deep one or something, you know. And then... I guess it would be to take the screwdriver and put it sideways and I guess just try to pound it, you know, as you know, just to make it turn. That, that's really time consuming and it really wears out your screwdrivers. But I have one here that I use to pound with, but... See, I have to grind off the tip. And put you know make a new tip on there so but i won't be doing that anytime soon but i know that they make tools i think to gr to grab things that don't have you know things on it anymore you know and i have no clue where to buy them from i don't know if northern tools would sell them i don't even know what the hell to look for so so I guess you guys will either have to help me on this, or I'm just going to have to just, just, you know, destroy it. I have no choice. You know, whatever. It's just a stupid hose anyway. I can get more of them, but it's a waste of money. But that's the way it is in my life. I have to buy stuff. They don't work out, so I want to change them, you know. Then I have to destroy them just to change them, and then i got to go buy and new stuff again. And that's just what it seems to be doing here. I'll have to buy another hose now if I can't get this one off. This hose is going to have to get destroyed, and that's the only, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Unless you guys can suggest something else, but I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm limited to what, what I have, you know. 
I don't have all the best tools in the world to be doing this, so I don't know what else to do. I did, you know, I tried to put a rag on it, you know, I thought maybe that would help, but it didn't, uh, sure didn't help, didn't help much either, so. So that's another, it's another stupid winter project I gotta do now, is work on this cocksucker. At least I managed to get the handle off, I guess it's just held on with a screw. So. But I don't know what else to do. It's getting to the point where I'm just gonna have to give up, because it's just not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to just to, to de destroy it, and that's just the way it's going to have to be. I probably could punch a screwdriver into it, you know, and I guess I could put some, yeah, that would probably work too if I took a screwdriver and punched some grooves into it. Maybe a pair of pliers or something would grip it better, because there's nothing on it at all. It's just bare steel now, so there's nothing to grip. I don't want to destroy none of my new screwdrivers, but it looks like I'm going to have to, because... Well, I should have another one here, but I think that was a, anyway, that was a Phillips, so, then I got this one, but see, it's, she's pretty, uh, pretty dicked, and I have to grind it off, so, I know I got a couple more up at the house, maybe I'll just use one of those then, and, and I guess destroy it, that's the only thing I can think of, guys. And who knows when you guys will get to see this, because now that's going to require editing now. Son of a bitch, get out there. You guys are probably saying, well, there's easy ways of doing it. Well, you know, maybe there is, but I don't have time to go buy tools. And, uh, Jesus. And I kind of doubt that I'll be able to take out a bank loan, because, you know, I kind of, I just kind of doubt it. So, and now my sister's back in the fucking hospital again. She got extremely sick a couple nights ago. And she started getting some kind of uh, shit in her knee and her one elbow. Kind of like, like liquid crap, you know, that was making it swell up so damn much. So she had to go to the hospital for that. And she's way up in the cities. She, you know, well, she drove herself, but, so, so she'll probably be up there, well, they were doing some stuff to her last night, and I think they were going to do a little bit more to her this morning, but I think they're done now, but, they said that she really can't do anything for a whole week, just because of the surgery and everything that they had to do to her, so, I won't be able, won't, won't be able to do anything, I guess, for another whole week. And, of course, it kind of sucks because, you know, we're getting extremely low on food and stuff. Well, we're not, like, super low, but, you know, the only thing that's left now is all the big major food, and we don't feel like cooking all that, so. So we just try to live off the small stuff, but, you know, sometimes you got to eat the big stuff, too, but, you know, it's just, I guess we just don't feel like it, you know. So, my grandma's going... I think Friday, but that's still, you know, almost like a week away. Well, this Friday coming up. She's going to get us a couple of things for, you know, me and my mom just to kind of tie us over until we get paid. Which, you know, I don't know, whatever. So, so I don't know, boys. I don't know. And I told my grandma, like, well, I'm thinking about taking out a bank loan. She just kind of laughed at me. So, So I don't know. I'm, pro I'm probably too young, and they're not going to trust me. And they probably have an age, you know, like an age limit. So I guess if they say no, well then, what the hell else can I do? I give up because it's it's yeah. I'll get I'll get money. I don't know if it's next month coming up. You know, like this month coming up. Whatever after October, and then. So I guess I'll just have to, I wanted to use that money for the tractor, but I guess I'll have to use it for the winch. I guess what else can I do? Because I got, I got that feeling that like the bank's not going to let me take out a loan. So. I don't know. It's going to be very stressful and frustrating and I'm getting sick of it. So I give up. I guess it's whenever shit happens. I guess it's when it fucking happens, you know. It's, I'm getting sick of it, so. 
Should have had the winter gets fixed a long time ago, but then when you gotta pay for other bills, it's hard. Now I got this damn problem I gotta fix now. Well, I'm just gonna fucking destroy it, because I'm sick of it, so. I guess I'll just try to uh, put some grooves in it, I guess, with a screwdriver. How to de destroy, I guess, one of my new ones. And, well, I can always grind it again, too, but, you know, I don't really want to. And just try to uh, put some grooves in it. And then see if it, if it will uh, grip a little better. But, you know, I kind of doubt it. I haven't talked about the two destroy it. I got to get it off. So, because I want to be able to put a, you know, a quick catcher thing on that side, you know. And I'll probably have to buy a new hose again. So, whatever. I don't give a shit anyway. I'm done using this damn thing anyway. I already blew off the tractor and everything. So, so I'm pretty much well done with that now. So, and I'm just going to. I guess just whenever I feel like taking the battery out of the tractor, I guess it's when I'm done, you know. I guess it's whenever I feel like doing it. I don't know exactly when I'll do it, but. So. It's going to be stupid. I kind of hate taking that battery out because you got to take the hood off. you got to disconnect the lights, you know, that little connector dewey. you got to unhook that. and You know, that's stupid. Then you got to remove the cover that's covering the fucking battery, you know. And, I could leave it, you know, but I'm afraid over the winter it'll probably get drained. Because sometimes batteries will kind of drain out, you know, if they're not hooked to a battery tender or anything. So, because it happens to my uncle, he's got, you know, those big batteries on the tractor, and he's always got to charge them in the winter. But, I kind of think it's maybe just, you know, maybe it's the alternator. It's not puking out the power like it should, but, you know, they're a lot of money too, so. So he always has to take the batteries out the day before he's going to use the tractor and charge them and stick them in and then fire it up and there you go, right? So, so but anyways, guys, I'm going to not waste your guys' time anymore for right now. I'm going to just start punching and, and see if it'll grip. You know, I'll just I guess see how it goes. So I guess give me one minute. Hold on. Well, it doesn't want to come off, so... Stupid bastards are back to doing whatever they do. So, I guess the only thing I can do, I guess, is just leave it. It's completely gnawing it down. It's not even like it should be anymore. And I went and grabbed the permanent marker just to mark it to see if it was even fucking turning. And it's not turning at all. Because it's hard to mark this, but managed to get a little bit on there. Like, this whole thing here is where you're supposed to put the wrench. Well, it's not there anymore. It's just a damn piece of circle steel now, so nothing wants to grip it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when this uh, when this hose blows out because then I'm, not, I'm never gonna be able to replace it now. It seems like whenever I want to do stuff, then it you know then it always gets ruined. So should have put the couplers on. I guess I'm on that end in the first place, but you know I didn't think of it, so it should ruin now, boys. Thirty dollar hose ruined still usable but it's ruined so the only thing the only option now would be to just completely destroy the damn thing like gnaw it out break it in half cut it out try to punch it out with the screwdriver because i don't know what else to do i don't think they make any tools that are designed to why well, don't they make certain tools but so I don't know what else to do. The only option I can I could do would be to I think they make a tool for it too, but I can't remember if they do. Um, would be to take a screwdriver and I guess uh, pound into it, I guess, and then. Well, that'd probably destroy it, but whatever. And then, well, yeah, put a screwdriver in it and pound it, and I guess try to maybe put some kind of a notch into it. You know, maybe like a deep one or something, you know. And then, I 
I guess would be to take the screwdriver and put it sideways and I guess just try to pound it, you know, as you know, just to make it turn. That that's really time consuming and it really wears out your screwdrivers. But I have one here that I use to pound with, but see I have to grind off the tip and put you know make a new tip on there. So but I won't be doing that anytime soon. But I know that they make tools I think to, gr to grab things that don't have, you know, things on it anymore, you know. And I have no clue where to buy them from. I don't know if Northern Tools would sell them. I don't even know what the hell to look for. So, so I guess you guys will either have to help me on this or I'm just going to have to, dis dis you know, destroy it. I have no choice. You know, whatever. It's just a stupid hose anyway. I can get more of them, but it's a waste of money. But that's the way it is in my life. I have to buy stuff. They don't work out, so I want to change them, you know. Then I have to destroy them just to change them, and then I got to go buy new, new stuff again. And that's just what it seems to be doing here. I'll have to buy another hose now. If I can't get this one off, this hose is going to have to get destroyed, and that's, the only, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Unless you guys can suggest something else, but I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm limited to what, what I have, you know. I don't have all the best tools in the world to be doing this, so. I don't know what else to do. I did, you know, I tried to put a rag on it, you know. I thought maybe that would help, but it didn't, uh, sure didn't help, didn't help much either. So, so that's another, it's another stupid winter project I got to do now is work on this cocksucker. At least I managed to get the handle off. I guess it's just held on with a screw. So, but I don't know what else to do. It's getting to the point where I'm just going to have to give up because it's just not going to work. I'm just going to have to, to, to de destroy it. And that's just the way it's going to have to be. I probably could punch a screwdriver into it, you know. and I guess I could put some... Yeah, that would probably work too if I took a screwdriver and punched some grooves into it. Maybe a pair of pliers or something would grip it better. Because there's nothing on it at all. It's just bare steel now. So there's nothing to grip. I don't want to destroy none of my new screwdrivers, but it looks like I'm going to have to, because, well, I should have another one here, but I think that was a, you know, that was a Phillips, so, then I got this one, but see, it's, she's pretty, uh, pretty dicked, and I have to grind it off, so, I know I got a couple more up at the house, maybe I'll just use one of those then, and, and I guess destroy it. That's the only thing I can think of, guys. And who knows when you guys will get to see this, because now it's going to require editing now. Son of a bitch, get up there. You guys are probably saying, well, there's easy ways of doing it. Well, you know, maybe there is, but I don't have time to go buy tools. And, uh, Jesus. And I kind of doubt that I'll be able to take out a bank loan because, you know, I kind of, I just kind of doubt it. So, and now my sister's back in the fucking hospital again. She got extremely sick a couple nights ago. And she started getting some kind of uh, shit in her knee and her one elbow, kind of like, like liquid crap, you know, that was making it swell up so damn much. So she had to go to the hospital for that, and she's way up in the cities, she, you know, while she drove herself, but. So, so she'll probably be up there. Well, they were doing some stuff to her last night, and I think they were going to do a little bit more to her this morning, but I think they're done now, but. They said that she really can't do anything for a whole week. Just because of the surgery and everything that they had to do to her. So, I won't be, able, won't, won't be able to do anything, I guess, for another whole week. And, of course, it kind of sucks because, you know, we're getting extremely low on food and stuff. Well, we're not, like, super low, but, you know, the only thing that's left now is all the big major food. And we don't feel like cooking all that, so. So, we just try to live off the small stuff, but, you know. Sometimes you gotta eat the big stuff too, but you know, it's just I guess we just don't feel like it, you know. So my grandma's going 
think Friday, but that's still you know, almost like a week away. Well, this Friday coming up. She's gonna get us a couple of things for you know me and my mom just to kind of tie us over until we get paid. Which you know, I don't know, whatever. So, so I don't know, boys. I don't know. And I told my grandma, like, well, I'm thinking about taking out a bank loan. She just kind of laughed at me. So, so I don't know. I'm, I'm probably too young, and they're not going to trust me. And they probably have an eight, you know, like an age limit. So, I guess if they say no, well, then what the hell else can I do? I give up because it's just yeah. I'll get I'll get money. I don't know if it's next month coming up, you know, like this month coming up, whatever after October, and then, so I guess I'll just have to, I wanted to use that money for the tractor, but I guess I'll have to use it for the winch, I guess what else can I do, it's because I got, I got that feeling that, like, the bank's not going to let me take out a loan, so, I don't know, it's going to be very stressful and frustrating, and I'm getting sick of it, so I give up. I guess it's whenever shit happens, I guess it's when it fucking happens, you know, it's, I'm getting sick of it, so. Should have had the winch, I guess, fixed a long time ago, but then when you gotta pay for other bills, it's hard. Now I got this damn problem I gotta fix now. Well, I'm just gonna fucking destroy it, because I'm sick of it, so. I guess I'll just try to uh, put some grooves in it, I guess, with a screwdriver. How to de destroy, I guess, one of my new ones, and, well, I can always grind it again, too, but, you know, I don't really want to. And just try to uh, put some grooves in it, and then see if it, if it will uh, grip a little better. But you know, I kind of doubt it. I hadn't thought about the two destroy. I got to get it off. So because I want to be able to put a you know a quick catcher thing on that side, you know, and I probably have to buy a new hose again. So whatever. I don't give a shit anyway. I'm done using this damn thing anyway. I already blew off the tractor and everything, so. So I'm pretty much done with that now, so. And I'm just gonna. I guess just whenever I feel like taking the battery out of the tractor, I guess it's when I'm done, you know? I guess it's whenever I feel like doing it. I don't know exactly when I'll do it, but. So. Gonna be stupid. I, I, I kind of hate taking that battery out because you gotta take the hood off. You gotta disconnect the lights. You know that little connector do. You gotta unhook that, and you know that's stupid. Then you gotta remove the cover that's covering the fucking battery. You know, and, uh, I could leave it. You know, but then I'm afraid over the winter it'll probably get drained. Cause sometimes batteries will kind of drain out. You know, if they're not hooked to a battery tender or anything. So. Because it happens to my uncle, he's got, you know, those big batteries on the tractor, and he's always got to charge them in the winter. But, I kind of think it's maybe just, you know, maybe it's the alternator. It's not puking out the power like it should, but, you know, they're a lot of money, too, so. So he always has to take the batteries out the day before he's going to use the tractor and charge them and stick them in and then fire it up, and there you go, right? So, so but anyways, guys, I'm going to... Not waste your guys' time anymore for right now. I'm gonna guess start punching and, and see if it'll grip. You know, on this, I guess see how it goes. So I guess give me one minute. Hold on. Okay, well that was useless too. You can't even punch it. So I don't know what else to do. I give up until I guess either one of you guys can help me with it. I could leave it, but I kind of want you know I want quick couplers on that side too. You know, so. Because it's getting to be a pain in the ass to move this son of a bitch around with that 50 feet of fucking hose on it. And I didn't put it on that damn tight, so I don't know how it got on. So tight, you know. I put it on just tight enough, and then somehow it's just like somebody took a big old wrench to it and tight, put it on even tighter, and they ruined it. Now I can't get it off. Well, now it's completely ruined. There's nothing left to it now to grab, so I even tried to grab the threads too, you know. That, you know, the only option I would have, and it's this one would really freaking suck, buy a welder, weld on a big huge fucking nail, and just, you know, that's the, that's if I have, you know, if desperate, you know. Take a, take a nail, 
I'm sure you could weld to it, you just have to turn the temperature down so you're not melting it. Take a, you know, like, like a good size nail. I have nothing for an example, but you guys know what I mean anyway. So, I could use a bolt, but these bolts are kind of, they're kind of big, so. Like this is if, you know, if it gets right down to it where I have to do this. Let's see, I don't know if this one would work. You'd have to grind it smooth, you know, to, to do stuff. I don't know if this would fit on. It might, but... Well, that would be a little... You could weld it on, but see, then I think you'd be destroying the part that's hooked to the sub, or to the pump, or to the compressor, so you're better off using a nail. Like, you know, like a, like a good size nail. Like I said, I have none, none here for an example, so... Uh, besides what's in the... Well, I guess something like this. Let me show you. Maybe something like this nail here. Something something this thick. Well, it would probably still bend anyway, but... Well, you could use a bolt, too. I got plenty of smaller... I can get smaller bolts, too. I could probably... I probably... Have... Well, plenty at the farm, that's for sure. Um, oh, I got these, but I don't think these would work. They seem pretty, pretty, uh, seem pretty stable, but this actually used to be part of a, uh, my mom used to have, oh, I did kind of bend it, I think. I not. My mom kind of had a uh, small wheelbarrow. Uh, looking thing for looks. It was all made out of wood and stuff. It was just for looks. You can put like dirt inside the little boxy thing there and you can put flowers or something in it. So I mean you could take something like this you know and then just weld it on. So it would have to be welded here right there. Somewhere, oops. Somewhere around in there. Sorry if the camera's not focusing too well. You can see this part right here spins, so... So, you, yeah, you could weld that on. I would have to get something to protect all this... All this here, like some kind of a tarp. Fireproof tarping. And then just stick it on there and just weld that shit out of it and... You know, I would probably rather use a bolt because they're a little bit stronger than this stupid thing. But I'm just using it as an example. Maybe something that size. Stick it on, and then weld the shit out of it. Just you probably have to turn the temperature down so you don't melt this. But you know you could just turn it way down and then just weld it. And if it breaks off, grind it smooth, and then turn up the temperature. Just keep turning it up until it holds. And then that's so that way you can grip it, and then right over. You're supposed to be able to turn left with the damn thing to loosen it. That's the way I got it off. So I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I ruined a perfectly good hose again. I have a habit of ruining stuff, but that's just the way it is in my life. You ruin stuff to make it to make it better. So I guess unless you guys can suggest something, but I kind of doubt it. I don't think they make tools for that. I mean, I could buy a welder, I guess, on payday, you know, I mean, the one for Northern Tools is only 140 bucks, 150 which is damn good for a welder, you know, and it would last me long enough for what I would want to use it for, so, so, I don't know what else to do, guys, it sucks, I like the hose, you know, it's perfect for what I would need it for, but damn, it's a bitch to get off, and I ruined it. I should go leave a nasty review on this too, but fuck it, you put it on and you can't, two months later, three weeks later, you can't take it off again. It's permanently stuck on. And of course, then the freaking grippy thing, you know, you would put a wrench on too, well, that's all stripped. Jesus, I've had stuff older than that and they don't strip like this. I tried to do it last night too, but then it, it just started stripping, so. And now it's just really freaking stripped, 
so I don't know. I shouldn't have to go through all this bullshit just to change the hose, you know. I mean, come on. You should have put in the quick couplers, I guess, on that end in the first place. It would have saved me all that freaking trouble. But, you know, I didn't think of it, so don't bitch at me about it. So, you know, I didn't think of it. So, because I figured it would be easy on and easy off, you know. Like, I'd probably only be taking this hose off one more time. And that would be just to put the, the quick attached couplers on it. And that's it. The hose would probably never, it would come off. For you know moving around, but for taking the thing out of the, out of the, uh, see out of that little thing down in there. See down in there. Well, I would never take that damn thing out, you know, because you'd put the quick touch thing in there. Sorry, it's so shaky, but I'm holding the camera with one hand. But you put it in there. Well, I would never take that thing out again. It would just be disconnected all along there, right? So I don't know, guys. I could probably weld something onto it. I guess I could get a welder and payday, I guess. Even though I've never had welded a day in my life. But, you know, you might as well learn, I guess. I don't really want to destroy a perfectly good air compressor. Because there's a lot of money to buy another one. So. And this one's just right for, you know, for right now. Like, I'm not using it for, for a whole heck of a lot. You know, just to fill tires, blow out air filters, and stuff like that. So. And then pretty soon I'll probably be running, well, next summer, I might be running like an impact gun off it, but how often will I be using it, you know? Probably not that often, so. I still want to get that fuel caddy thing, or whatever the hell Anywhere After Six calls it, you know, that little fuel tank. Well, I might have to forget it until next month, I guess, and just start buying other stuff to help fix this problem now. <clears throat> Unless you guys can suggest something, but I don't know if you guys will see this video in time. Maybe. I'm going to start editing as soon as I get in, but... I really don't want to have to buy another hose. Because this... I mean, yeah, it's only like 30, 40 bucks, but I mean, you know, it's 30, 40 bucks, you know. I shouldn't have to keep going through hoses all the time. And this hose didn't stay clean for very long. She's all dirty and crappy now, which is fine. I don't care, but... For this bullshit, you know, it's just not fucking necessary. This is garbage. I didn't even put it on that fucking tight. Just tight enough, you know, and... Whatever. It's like I got some kind of a damn curse over me, you know, and... A ghost or something goes behind me and tightens it even more. You know, and fucks it all up. So... But that's the desperate mode. If I have to buy a welder and weld something on, I'll have to do it then. You ruin it, you fucking ruin it. You know, whatever. You just buy another fucking hose again. You just, just, just you freaking destroy the damn thing? Well, whatever. I give up anyway, so. A little frustrating. I'm surprised this damn belt even lasted that long. I'm. Well, she could be due for another one. She's starting to get a little, a little frayed now, but. I don't know. I'm sure I can get a good little while out of her yet. I've seen uh, blade or belts that are so freaking thin that they're unbelievable that, that they're even holding up. I see it on my friend Swather. He's got, you know, cuts in it so deep that you think the damn thing would break, but it don't, so. It's just that they're due for a replacement, but he's going to run them as long as he possibly can. Well, they've been like that for years, so... It's amazing how far those belts will last. And of course the ones on the tractor, they're still new. They're still fine. I've checked. I, I looked at them and they were still fine. There, there's no fray or nothing on them. There's no cracks or anything on them. So I could get many years out of them, I'm sure. Same with the blades. So but I, I know where to get my blades from. I just get them from my dealer. A John Deere dealer, you know. So, not, not a problem. But anyways, guys, um, this is another project I've got to work on now. And this is getting to really beginning to piss me off. So, because I don't know what else to do. You know, I just, if, if they make something like, I'll try to explain it to you, but I don't think they make anything. Something like this, like what I've been using. See this thing here? 
if they had something like that with with maybe some like teeth on it, like teeth, where you could clamp down really hard and then it would dig into the metal. It would probably cut it, but you know, well, fuck it, who's gonna care anyway? But if they made something like that, it would probably help. But as far as I know, they don't make anything like that. I'm surprised that you know, if they don't, well, I'm surprised they haven't, because they seem to seem to think of everything. They make more stuff nowadays that's useless than they did back in the day. Like, some of the junk is useless. So, so I don't know what else to do, guys. If I get, if you guys say that the only thing you really could do is weld onto it, well, that's probably what I'll have to do. We just have to turn the heat down so it doesn't, you know, explode everything and blow it up. I'll have to get like a couple of, uh, what the hell they're called? You know, like things to protect the freaking thing so you don't blow it up. You know, the those mats or whatever, the flame retardant mats. You know, or things or whatever. I don't know what the hell you even want to call the fucking things. So they're fireproof or the flame proof or whatever the hell you want to call them, spark proof, or whatever. You know, so when people get, you know, when people yelled weld on steel or stuff, you know, they don't burn the shop down or something, you know, so, I have to put a couple of those around, I guess, and, uh, just, you know, to protect the tank, and, and of course, and all the wiring and stuff that's for the plug-in, that's the only last ditch effort I can do is buy a welder, which is cheap, you know, and still decent enough, I'm sure you can still weld, I'm sure you can weld in the cold, but, I don't know, can you weld in the freezing cold? I don't really, I've never really seen anybody doing it, but I, sp I suppose you could. You know, I've never really done it, and I've, well, I've never done it, and I've never really seen it. I've seen it a couple of times, but that was so many years ago that I don't remember exactly anymore, so. So I guess let me know what you guys think. I give up, because it, it's. I could keep going and going and going and going and pretty you know just get through the whole damn thing and you know then I won't be able to get the thing out so you know so I don't know what else to do the last thing would be just to just weld on a nail or something or a big bolt I'll probably use a bolt instead because it's a little stronger then you could take a hammer to it and kind of you know pound it so but it definitely does fucking suck. Like, you know, I mean, come on. But then again, everything in my life goes wrong anyway, so what can you do? All you can do is, I guess, is just fix the problems, but I'm having way too many damn problems. So. And I doubt that I'll be plowing snow this year. Well, usually in November, we usually don't get much for snow, but, you know, it's pretty goddamn cold. And it might be, you know, maybe like an inch or so of snow on the ground, but I think we're frying over. But, you know, I just, for one, I don't want to work in the fucking cold. You know, it's not too bad today, you know, but. And then on, on payday, they're talking the 50s. So I'm like, holy shit. But, you know, but when the day comes, they'll change it. So, but the weather people around here are so fucking retarded. Like, I don't even know why I listen to you. Well, I don't. My mom tells me everything, and I don't even want to hear it because I know it's all garbage anyway. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I guess if you guys can suggest something, let me know. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know what else to do. The only thing I can think of is just buying a welder and. and Buying a welder and then welding a big bolt onto it. That's probably the only best bet I would ever have of getting the damn thing out. Just turn the heat down, you know, so you're not melting everything. I think all you could do is put it to the lowest setting possible. And if it breaks off, grind it clean again. And then just turn the temperature up one notch. Just keep turning it up until the bolt actually does hold. And then you just pound it off, you know, pound it, turn it, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then buy another holes again. I mean, the holes ain't that expensive. I mean, they're like 40 bucks, but, you know. 
you know, whatever. So, this is BS. This is getting to be, you know, I should have did it in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, past is the past. You can't redo it. If I could, I would. It would save me the trouble. Just putting that damn coupler on the other end. That never would have to have to fuck with it again. I don't have to fuck with it. I could leave it. But I kind of want to make my holes detachable, you know, because it's... Ugh. Moving this goddamn thing here with that 50 feet of hose on it. Holy shit, they kept falling off and getting wrapped in the tires. and ugh. So, the hose has to come off for transport. Well, as far as it's going to go, it's back here, but... So... I guess you guys can just let me know. Help me on this one if you want. If not, well then, I'm just going to buy a welder and I guess weld the living shit out of it. And, you know. Because I don't know what else to do. I don't know if that's steel. You think it would be. Because it can't be that aluminum crap. Because that would never hold pressure. Well, I, this must be, you know, like a steel. But it's more like a copper color. It's kind of like a goldish. Whatever this stuff is, you know. It's kind of like a gold color. But it can't be copper because that's kind of a darker orange, I think. See, and this turns. This thing here. But this doesn't. So it's like this has been pinched. Maybe I went in too damn far with it and maybe it got pinched in there now and now it's fucked. So I have to weld on a nail or a bolt of some kind. And just, you know, play around with it. Let this make sure this doesn't overheat. You know, I'm not going to weld crazy. I'm just going to put one, like, little, uh... Like, I'll do it in kind of like a tack weld. Just kind of put little spots all around it. But I'll do one spot, and then I'll let it cool down and do another one. So it's not, you know, fucking it up. If I fuck it up, well, then I'm just going to have to buy another one. Buy another air compressor, I guess. Which I kind of wanted a new one anyway, but I, I wanted to keep this one up at the house. And to put that new one back here. You know, so. Well, the new one would be that gas engine one. That's the one that I want to put back here, but, you know, that's a thousand bucks. So, and I'm not willing to spend that, so. Well, I can't, because I don't have it. It would take me a few months to save up that kind of money, and I would need it to pay for the winch. Well, I'm still going to go to the bank. It looks like I won't be getting around now to, to payday. My grandma said she would take me and my mom because my sister won't won't be able to, you know, so. So my grandma said she would take us this time and I'm going to go in the bank anyway if I fucking remember. You guys might have to help me remember. Um, and uh, I guess just go in there and see what they say. That's the only thing I can do. I might as well find out, you know. This whole month I've been sitting here wondering, well, can I take one out? I wonder if they would let me, you know. And, then, and I never got around to getting down there and taking one out. You know, or trying. So, we'll have to try and payday for sure. And, uh, you know. Stupid leaves. Still got to clean out the shop floor, but I doubt that I'll get around to it this year. I could do it today, I guess, but I'm too tired and crabby now. Now I gotta edit, so. Well, I guess I could, you know, sweep in here between the editings, you know. It's gonna take time, I guess, to upload these parts. I mean, I just use YouTube editing, so it goes a little quicker. It goes a little quicker for me, you know, so. So, whatever. But uh, you guys can help me on this one. I dick your boys. And some of you guys are probably gonna laugh, but, you know, I'm just gonna delete your comment. You know, so, if you got nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. <clears throat> so, yeah. But well, that's the only thing I can do, if you guys can't think of anything, is I'll just have to buy a welder and weld on a bolt. And then try to see if that'll work. I'll have to do it in small chunks to weld so I don't overheat that thing, you know, and melt it. So, well, I thought you would melt it, but you could ruin the threads inside of it, so. I won't be welding that close to it, but I mean, it's just, well, I don't know. It could overheat, I guess, and blow up anyway, but whatever. 
But anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to take off for today. And then this was an epic fail. I'm not too damn happy again. But that's just the way it is in my life, you know. It goes good for everybody else, but it goes shitty for me. I guess I'm just not made for this kind of stuff, you know. I guess I'm just meant to be a lazy fat kid. It's not the way I want to live my life, but, you know, it's just the way, I guess the way it is. I want to be out, you know, get my hands dirty and build projects like everybody else does, you know. I don't know, whatever. So, well, it's hard when you don't have the tools, for one thing, but, you know, I'm slowly buying them, but, you know, it's... Well, I could, I guess, invest in the welder this month, or this, you know, month coming up. Anyways, because I do need a welder. And I guess I could just, you know, give it a try on this damn thing down here, I guess, and see how it works. So, you know, that's, that's another thing I always wanted to, do, you know, do too, was weld. So, because welding looks like, looks like, like, a lot, like a lot of fun, you know, and you can really, really build the shit with that. And I just got to looking at my, uh. Or my uncle's tractor that one day when we were lifting the cow I looked at the damn bucket and I don't think those damn those teeth can come off I think they're permanent it's such a stupid bucket and then in between the teeth like here's the teeth but then then you got the bucket well the bucket's like curling back and I was thinking, well, shit, maybe I could buy a welder and weld all that shit back together, but that metal's looking awful thin. The best bet, I guess, would be just to buy a new bucket or custom make a bucket, you know. I could always build a bucket out of a welder, you know, buy a welder and make one for it, but... It takes money to do that shit, you know, so... But you guys can let me know what you think of this, because I dicked her now. I don't know what else to do. Welding is the only thing I can do. I think as long as I turn the heat down all the way on that thing, I think it'll be fine. Like, I'm not going to go super crazy on it. I'm just going to do it in tack weld so then the thing doesn't have a chance. Like, this thing here. See, I'm worried about this, that I might destroy it. So, if I figured if I tack weld on a bolt, like, I'll probably put, like, a thing around the two, like a fireproof, like a tarp thing, but... Just put uh, tack welds on it so this thing doesn't get too hot. You know, let it cool down and then attack it again. Let it cool down and attack it again, you know. Until it stays and then just, you know. You think you'd want to turn it to the left. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, right? Well, what the hell? So. Unless they change that damn theory now. I don't know. Whatever, stupid, but whatever, so. But I guess this is our next project, guys. I think my camera's making a funny noise. I know that when, when I start my camera up, like when I turn the thing over, open, and my camera turns on automatically, it makes like a beepy noise. Well, not like a beepy noise, but it makes a noise to say, hey, I'm turning on. It sounds like there's something loose. Because, because now it vibrates when it does that. Man, I've had this camera for, I don't know how fucking long. I think it's time for a new one, boys. This was a pretty cheap camera. It does 1080p, which is what I like. But I doubt that any of my subscribers are actually watching this video in 1080p. It's, you know, it's kind of... For one, it takes forever to fucking, you know, upload. Or to load. So, i just been mostly doing, uh... When I normally watch videos... I'll normally either just do 480p or I'll do 720. It's... You know, good enough for me, you know. It's not, you know, most videos do offer 1080p too, but I mean, it has to sure be damn good to, you know, have it in 1080p. So, so I don't really bother with the high quality crap anymore. It's just time consuming, and I don't have time like that anymore. So, and now it's double strike. You might like this for the rest of you guys. I mean, I don't, I don't think you guys would like it, but uh, Black Ops 2, the video game, you guys. Double Strike, you should know about this. Since you have uh, Black Ops 1. I have that too, but I don't play it anymore. But For the PS3. Now, I don't know if they're having this for your Wii or not. Or whatever the hell you've been playing it on. Um, 
they're having a, a like a whole week of double XP, which means you can level up super fast. I freaking prestige yesterday, like you know, I started started a new level, not yesterday, but the day before. Then by late afternoon yesterday, I was already at level 46. So that the whole day, I got up like 50,000 levels. So it's freaking super awesome. So now I can prestige probably pretty quick here. I, I figured by tomorrow I probably could. I'll probably be playing a little bit while I'm editing. So, because you know, it's a whole week. And it's Monday, so it's been going on all weekend too. Since like Friday, so seven days, you know. Or however many fucking days it was, I don't know. But well, that, they started Friday and it's Monday today, so. So we get the whole damn week. And they're doing the same thing for Modern Warfare 3, too. And I think I know why, because they got uh, Call of Duty Ghost coming out now. So. So they figured, well, we better get these people leveled up so they can uh, buy the new game, you know. Once you max prestige everything and do all your guns and get everything done, then you got nothing to do. Well, I got plenty of war games to keep me busy for the next two years. But it's hard because they don't have double XP, you know. So, so I'm going to try to get Black Ops 2 done. And then... And oh yeah, and I managed to get uh, two new guns in gold. The gold color. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. I can do a video. Double strike, you might want to see it. I don't know, you can let me know. If you want to see my awesome gold guns. And I do have some diamond guns too. I got, all my sniper rifles are diamond. All my shotguns are diamond. So now I'm just working on everything else. I managed to get the LSAT. Gold. And then there's another gun I got gold. Just a little thing. The M4 was gold. The AN94, AN AN that's gold. I got quite a few guns gold, but, you know, I'm trying to get them all diamond, of course. But that's a lot of bullshit. And you gotta try to get those bloodthirsties. Things are, it was easy with the LSAT. Fuck. Let me tell you. I camped like a little bitch. Mm hmm. I camp. That's right. Well, I do sometimes, you know. I, mo I only do the camping when I'm trying to get bloodthirsties. Now, we were playing Nuketown because they have that map out, you know, it's called Nuketown. And, and there's a house. I think it's the blue one, I think. It's wherever C is, the letter C, like when you play uh, Domination, you got A, B, and C, or well, C. So I just go in the house, I lay in the middle of the kitchen, or whatever that little room is there, and then, then there's a door going right outside, well that's where they all come. So then of course then I got Target Finder on my gun, and I just camp there, and as they come in I just spray the living shit out of them and I have them. I managed to get three Bloodthirsties within like two minutes of a game, so that was freaking super awesome. So freaking right. I wish Double Strike would get a PS3. Him, he could play for a while, kick some ass, you know. But you know, he's got the Wii, so I had one, but I sold it. I gave, well, I gave it back to my sister. So I can't play this son of a bitch. It's too damn hard. So, but yeah, man, you can get a PS3 for like 200 bucks now. But now they're coming out with the PS4s. But I, I'm not buying it, you know, because it's I don't need all this high tech crap, you know. PS3 is good enough. I got, I you know, I, I can get internet off it, you know, for free. And if you want internet on the PS4s, then you gotta pay a lot of fucking money for that. It's like up to a thousand bucks, just to just to have internet put on your damn PS4. So I'm just sticking with the PS3s. So they still make them, but you know, it's they're not in quite that high of demand anymore. Not like the PS4s are now. They should be coming out pretty soon. Still gotta get my new video game. I gotta get it, boys. I gotta have it. So, yeah, man, guys. I guess I'm gonna take off. Then I made this video long enough for you guys. 30 minutes, and plus another 20, 30 minutes for the other part. So, um, my hands freezing cold. Let me know what you guys think about this deal. Cause now I fucked her up, boys. She is a dickard. If they make a tool for that, let me know. Uh, if they don't, well, then I'll have to probably, you know, weld on something to it. That's the only thing I can do. 
excuse me, sorry about that. Um, that's the only thing, last thing, that's, that's the desperate mode. I'm not going to use it again then. Well, I could. I could just leave that, I guess leave that bolt on there. You know. I'd have to wrap the hose in some of that too, some of that fireproofing crap so you don't melt the hose. So. I mean, I still got another month and a half to really work on this thing. I don't really want to be working on the cold, you know, but if I have to, I have to. Got to get some things done. I was hoping to be done with it. I should have just left the damn thing, but, you know. I thought I could take it off, and then it started stripping. Then I got mean with it, and now I stripped it even more now, so. What I wanted to do was take this hose off, and then stick it in the basement for the winter. Like, I'll just leave the air compressor in the garage. I'm not going to bother with it. And then take the hose in the basement and stretch it out. You know. Because I'm getting sick of the damn kinking. This hose shouldn't be in this kind of a kinking mode. So. Well that's it's memory. That's what it remembers. So. You got to stretch it and get it out of that memory. I figured I could just wrap it around. Uh, well not wrap it around. Kind of stretch it throughout the basement. Because I can go from one end to the other end now. You know. Because I knocked that one wall out. So. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If they make a tool, that would be uh, fantastic. If not, then I have to weld it. I have no choice. But if you guys want to help me on this, any ideas are welcomed. You know, if you guys have an idea, let me know. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'm willing to try anything, you know. So, but if welding something on is the last thing, well, then I'll have to invest in the welder. So. Which is only 150 bucks, so I'm not going to cry over it, plus I want one. I demand the damn welder. So, it's just from Northern Tools, it's fine, it'll be enough welding power. For what I want to use it for. Some people were saying not to use that wire that it comes with, that free spool of wire. They say it's junk, but I'm going to use it anyway. It'll last. It's not the best wire, I suppose, but it'll do. You know, for now, so... Yeah, but anyway, guys, I'm going to take off for today. Do apologize for a long video. Um, it'll probably be a day or so before you actually see it. So, but if you guys want to help me on this, you can. Um, if you can suggest something. Um, if there's nothing you guys can think of, then I guess the only thing I can do is just try to weld onto it, weld a bolt on it, and see if that'll help. I'm sure it would, because I can get better leverage on it then. I can find me a super long bolt. I even got some somewhere, I'm sure of it. Well, might be up at the house. You know, put a bolt on it, and then you can stick a pipe over it, and there you, there you go. I probably could still reuse it, I guess, even after I do do weld on it. Like, I'm not going to go super crazy on the welding, just enough to hold it, and maybe we'll try it. I guess if it kind of ruins it, you know, whatever, I'll buy another one. But as long as I can get that son of a bitch out without ruining the threads too much. So, I don't know. This air, I guess this air compressor will be staying back here again. This air compressor sure loves being back here. So, well, it's been back here for a couple of years. When I first moved in here, I didn't use it. So, it sat here for like about two years. You know, now I'm using it. So, now I know, I know what I can use it for. And I still think I must have moisture in the tank or something, but I don't know. I'll have a look later, but not now. I figure what's the point of doing it now because I'll be, you know, not using it anymore, so. So whatever. But anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off for today then. So, like I said earlier, if you guys want to help me, you can. If not, that's fine. I'll just weld something onto it and be done with it, you know. Um... I don't know what else to do. If they make a tool for it, that'd be awesome. But if not, well, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll take off for today. So I guess have a good day and stuff. And stuff. So, uh, yeah. I guess have a good day, too. See you guys later.